Glenn Powell has responded to the, I was going to say claim, but really it's a flat out lie. Like, I mean, yeah, it's a lie. That he has more box office appeal than Ryan Gosling. Jesus, dude, who are you? I'm a man trying to figure this out. On Monday, The Wrap posted an article with the headline, Glenn Powell is a 21st century movie star charting his own path. And within it, a Hollywood producer is quoted as saying, Glenn Powell is most definitely an up-and-coming movie star in a sense that audiences now go see movies to see him. Okay. Unlike an actor like Ryan Gosling, whose appeal is limited to female audiences, Glenn appeals to both female and males. Oh. The Twitter account one take tweeted that quote and has reached 23 million people on the platform. Glenn quoted that tweet and responded, Gosling is a legend. I'm just Glenn. The Raps article is another puff piece to hype Glenn up as a movie star. We've seen a lot of these this year. I mean, look, it's part of the Hollywood machine. They got to hype up these stars, like make them more, you know, well known to the general public. And then, yeah, maybe they'll go see the movies and it all helps everybody. And if you feel it, But I mean, yeah, just some of these uh, statements they're making about Glenn. Like the Hollywood Reporter in May in their cover story, they said it was the runaway success of his recent Sydney Sweeney rom-com, Anyone But You, that proved the studio heads that he not only had leading man charisma, but also the increasingly rare ability to open a movie. Now, granted, they didn't write successfully open a movie. So technically, yeah, Glenn opened a movie. It only opened to $6 million. That's not a movie star. <laughs> but yeah, word of mouth was good and ended up making $88 million domestically. It raised the profiles of Glenn and Sydney, and yeah, so they'd be at a point where, okay, let's put them in a vehicle and see if they can open a movie. Um, Sydney has already proven that that didn't go very well this summer. But yeah, Glenn's untested yet to see if he has box office appeal. His next project is Twisters. You thought you could destroy a tornado. We never had a chance. You want one? Sure, that's another hit for Glenn, but it doesn't prove he has box office appeal. That was a sequel to a very popular film. It had a built-in audience. The poster and trailer didn't market that movie as see Glenn Powell in a movie. It was Twisters. The rap piece even puts some spin on Twisters' success. It writes that it exceeded expectations at the box office with its $335 million take. And I thought, how much did the original make? Well, the original film with Helen Hunt in 1996, made 494 million worldwide, so it did better even without inflation. Yeah, when you put inflation into it, it made 900 million dollars. So yeah, Twisters made a third of that, and that exceeded expectations. And why pull Gosling into it? That's the thing. You don't need to you know, compare an actor to another actor to prove their box office appeal. So yeah, they compared him to Gosling. Okay, I guess because the Fall Guy, which was a test of Gosling's box office appeal, underwhelmed with his $28.5 million opening given the $120 million budget. But Glenn's Anyone But You opened with $6 million. And it made less than the Fall Guy domestically. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess maybe the proof means that, yeah, Glenn appeals to both male and females, just not that many. Males and females. Sounds lovely. Just for fun, I took a look at Hitman, Glenn's movie that came out in June on Netflix. And yeah, if that had come out domestically, it would have been a test of his box office appeal. It was released internationally and only made $5 million, so that's not great. And then I took a look at the Netflix numbers, and yeah, it was number one for its first two weeks when it didn't really have much competition. But yeah, its viewing hour numbers were pretty underwhelming. And then its third week, it slipped to sixth, and then out of the top 10 in its fourth week. Certainly not a glowing indication that Glenn has major appeal. Like, I mean, people weren't even willing to hit play <laughs> from their couch to see Glenn Powell in a movie. So yeah, I, I mean, I don't even know why I'm entertaining this ridiculous quote from the um, unnamed producer, but yeah, just another instance of they're really trying to hype up Glenn to be a movie star before he is a movie star. What do you think? We'll see.